What's up, y'all? It's your girl, LaCrystal. And in today's video, I will be doing a get ready with me while I address some drama. So I'm just going to be doing a little eyeshadow. I'm going to use it from this palette. I'm going to just do neutral colors because I really don't want to do my makeup. I am going to the grocery store, but I'm not doing makeup just to go to the grocery store. So I'm just doing something while I talk to you all about what's going on with me. Um, I just purchased this concealer yesterday from my local hair shop. And um, I'm not going to say it's the best fit, but I wore it yesterday to a cookout and... I actually um, drew on my eyebrows yesterday, and it was pretty. Like, it was so pretty. You couldn't even tell that it didn't even match my complexion. So, but today, I'm just going to use... I'm not even going to fill my eyebrows in. I don't need to, but I'm not going to fill them in. Um, I'm just going to put this on top of my eyelids so my eyeshadow can last all day. Well, they won't... Like I said, they don't really have to last all day because I'm not doing my makeup just to go to the store. But just for the purpose of this video, okay? To entertain y'all while I'm talking. Um... Using my two favorite brushes, and then I'm gonna put my eyeliner on top with the little brush that comes with that. All right, so let's get started. Okay, just so gonna use a little bit. Oh, that's too damn much. Oops, excuse my language. Yeah, I don't, don't want to use all of that. So yesterday I went to a cookout and I was very happy. My cousin came into town and she invited me to come. And um, at first I was skeptical because I don't really go anywhere. Like all I do is stay in the house with my kids. And then I'm like, you know what? I need to get out. And of course other kids were there. So I'm like, my kids can mingle and, you know, play with other kids there. Little did I know, most of the people there was my family anyway. Because, you know, in my area, my very, the area I'm in is very small. People who know me personally, y'all know where I stay. Y'all know where we at. It's small. Related to just about everybody up, you know, down here, up here, whatever. And um, so I was pretty comfortable, you know, once I started seeing people that I knew from school and um, people that I was related to, you know. So it was a nice experience. Oh, and don't mind my hair. I just did a wash and go, like, literally. So it's not even fully dry yet. Um, but anyways, back to what I was saying. So, you know, I was just chilling. I had a good time. I was, um, I met my cousin. Well, I met up with my, okay, I'm going to try to explain this. I'm cool with my baby, fa my baby's father's other baby mother. Because for one, we have kids that are siblings and we get along, we hang out, we chill. Like, you know, that's my road dog. I don't care what nobody say. And why would I not get along with her? Like, you know, our kids, our siblings, and they love to see us get along. We take the kids to the carnival. We did a whole bunch of stuff over the summer. Like, we did a whole bunch of fun stuff. And um, even though I was going in and meet my cousin, I had her meet me there, too. I didn't even walk into the cookout until I met up with her. So, yeah, that's my homegirl. But, um, yeah, so, you know, I was chilling with her at first, and I started seeing people I knew. Ran into one of my old friends that I haven't seen since, like, 2008. I'm sorry, 2014 since my dad died. So I ran into her. It was good seeing her. We used to have some crazy good times back in 2009. That's my girl. She know who I'm talking about. She watching my video. Um, so overall, I had a good time. It was a few things that kind of set me off, but not to the point where I felt like I needed to address it. It wasn't that serious. But it was a lot of people that I went to school with. And, you know, I haven't seen them in a long time. And um, I know them from around the way. Like, they live close to me. Some of them know my child's father, my oldest son's father. And they literally, like, walked in my circle, spoke to everybody but me. And there was no beef. Like, I didn't have no issue with them. So, I'm like, dang, it's like that. Like, people just don't even speak no more. Like, what happened to manners? You know what I'm saying? I could have been a bigger person and spoke, you know. But you came into my circle where I was mingling with my friends and you spoke to my friends, but didn't speak to me. And that made me feel some type of way. I'm like, dang, like people just fake. You know what I'm saying? You, let's not forget you was trying to holler at me before. Now all of a sudden you don't know who I am, but it's all good. I, I just don't, I don't like fake stuff like that. 
If you're not going to speak when you see me, then don't talk to me on social media. Don't do any of that. So, you know, me being petty, I deleted him off my Instagram and Snapchat because I just felt like, I just felt like it was fake. I wanted to confront him about it, but I didn't want to give him the satisfaction. Like, um, I needed him to speak to me. So, I was like, it ain't that serious, but it is serious to the point where I don't need to deal with no fake stuff like that, you know? And hold on, y'all, because I'm always forgetting my sock. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back, y'all. Had to get my, you know, my socks. I can wipe my eyeshadow off. Okay. And now I'm using the wrong dig on brush. And that's a shame. All right. So, yeah, like I was saying, that bothered me. But then again, I was like, maybe the person just don't like me for whatever reason. Because I did add him on Instagram. And, you know, he didn't like any of my pictures. Um, Was my friend on Snapchat? Didn't view any of my snaps. I'm like, maybe he just stuck up. Like, I went to school with this dude. And he seemed cool. Why did I just do that? But it's all good. People these days just don't have no manners. And, you know, it's rude. If I walk into a group of people, I even saw people I didn't know. But just because, you know, I was, for the simple fact that I was with my friend and she's walking up to these people and I'm walking behind her, would I look like just standing there looking dumb? No, I wasn't brought up that way, so I spoke. Like, I didn't know them. I said, hey, how y'all doing? You know, I'm not going to just walk over there and look all stuck up. People already think I'm stuck up. I'm not. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to speak. I was I was brought up that way, and plus it's common courtesy. So I don't see why others can't do that, especially when you know the person. But it's all good because, you know what, he's off my social media. Probably wouldn't even notice that. And to be honest, brother, you're not even as cute as you was in high school. Moving along, what really set me off yesterday. Now, there's always two sides to a story. Sometimes people tell you stuff to stir stuff up. They tell you stuff to turn you against the other person so they can get whatever they want from you without the other person interfering whatever the case may be but either way i'm not gonna put the person's name in this video i'm gonna not even i'm not even gonna say whether it was a boy or a girl that told me because i don't want it to start any kind of drama but what i will say if it's true this person told me that is very whack on the other person's behalf because for one i don't condone to a man hating on a woman like that's just shallow to me that's just shallow. You should not be hating on a woman. You are a whole man. What are you hating on a woman for? There's no need for that. And you call yourself a man. You're not a man. I'm not going to say what you are. Like I said, it's a family channel. But anyways, supposedly one of my friends, you know, somebody I'm cool with, was watching my snaps. No, I'm sorry, not my snaps, my um YouTube and he was like, you know, talking to the other person. You know, you should go ahead and, um... Well, I guess I gave it away. I said I wasn't going to say if it was a boy or girl. But I did just say a man shouldn't be hating on another woman. So, there you go. It was a dude. All right. Dang, I need to wash my mouth. Dang. So, supposedly, the dude was like, yeah. You know, my friend. He was like, yeah, I'm watching LaCrystal um, YouTube. You should um subscribe to her, you know. Tell him how my videos are. I got, you know, he liked my videos. So, you know, he's trying to tell the other dude to go ahead and um, subscribe to it. So, this dude going to say, I'm not subscribing to her channel. Um, she ain't going to be nothing. She ain't going to be um, popular. All she want is money. I'm about to rewind that clip for y'all. I'm not subscribing to her channel. Um, she ain't gonna be nothing. She ain't gonna be um, popular. All she want is money. Y'all saw that? All I want is money. But let me tell y'all how ditzy I am. Because I used to be told that, you know, not to talk about 
anybody or criticize anybody, but everybody heard the saying, you act like a blonde or, um, you know, saying stuff about blondes, which I don't believe. I believe if you're simple or as they call it, dumb or whatever, I feel like that's just you in person. I don't think it's the color of your hair, but people call me a light skinned blonde and Honestly, I did not know people was getting paid for YouTube. I thought people was just doing it for fun. Because that's why I am That's why I originally wanted to do YouTube. I'm not even lying. I put it on my dad's grave, which I shouldn't even be doing. Because it's not that important. I shouldn't be explaining myself like that. But we're on my dad's grave. The only reason I got YouTube is because I think it looked fun. People were laughing on their videos, enjoying their videos, doing stuff you know that they wanted to do. Or that they enjoy doing. And then I like to be different. And I don't see too many people doing, you know, videos with their kids or with their family. Not saying they're bad parents because not everybody do YouTube. But, you know, I just want to be different. Yeah, I do hair and all that stuff on my YouTube. But I also want to include my kids, you know, as a way so I could bond with them and all of that. So, I'm like, that look fun. And I'm like, my kids are funny. Y'all see how my kids are if you watch my videos. My kids are funny, so I'm like, the world deserves to see them, you know? And then, later on, you know, because I have friends that do YouTube, and I actually have a really good friend that I knew since I was a child. Like, we went to church together. I consider her my cousin. Um, She does YouTube, and she does it with her daughter and her husband. And, you know, when I first wanted to do YouTube months ago, I, I DM'd her on Instagram, and I was like, I want to do YouTube, you know, I want to start doing YouTube. And she's like, oh, you know, that's a good idea. Let me know when you do. I was, you know, she told me she'll subscribe to my channel and to be consistent because it's like a job. And I was like, like a job? Like, what she mean? And I, in my mind, I'm like, oh, I guess she mean that you just got to keep doing it. I did not know anything about getting paid for, I swear. Like, I know that sounds dumb. And I know some of y'all probably don't believe me, but I really did not know that you get paid for doing YouTube. Now... I am human. When I found out you can get paid for YouTube, you dead gone right. I was happy about that. I'm like, dang, you can get paid for having fun on camera, doing stuff that you like to do. And then with my kids, like, you dead gone right. I'm going to jump right on that. But I won't look at it as like, okay, I just want to get paid. For, I'm just going to do videos just to get paid. No, I want to be different and do different stuff because I don't know anybody else besides my cousin. And, you know, like two other girls that I knew since childhood that are on my YouTube. I did not know anybody doing YouTube. I like to be different. I don't like to be like everybody else. I like to stand out, you know. And I think that's another reason why I got so many haters because I do stand out. But that's fine. Um, and, yeah, like um, I wanted to be, I wanted to do different, you know. Because I was always on Snapchat. I think I told y'all before I was on Snapchat and I'd be going off and people would laugh. I'm like, oh, you should start promoting your videos. Your Snapchat videos because you funny. But yeah, I was funny, but it was all negative stuff. I don't want negative. How can I say it? I don't want I don't want to gain followers and fans based off negativity, you know, because that's not gonna get me nowhere. That's gonna make me stay a negative person. I don't want to stay a negative person. I want to do something positive with my life. You know? And then, you know, I'm bringing my kids along because they are just funny. Like I, I could have a bad day and literally my kids make me laugh over something so simple, but it's just so funny and it's cute. And nobody can, you know, do that but my kids. And, um, so yeah, that's the main reason why I wanted to do YouTube. I wanted my kids to be on the platform as far as I want them to be known. I want them to be seen because they are funny. They are hilarious. And originally it was just going to be a family channel. I wasn't thinking about doing hair. I Well, actually, I, I took that back. At one point in time, I was thinking about doing hair. But I was actually thinking about um, making an Instagram page for hair. I wasn't going to do it on YouTube. The first thing that came to mind with YouTube was, okay, I got to do something with my kids. I got to have them up there. They funny. I wasn't going to put myself up here as far as what I'm doing now and, um, you know, my hair. It was just about my kids. But people like to see different things. So I'm like, you know, I'm going to throw myself up there a little bit, you know, without the kids. You know, come up there with the kids and, you know, just do stuff, different stuff, you know, show people different things. But, um, back to what I was saying. So yeah, according to this guy who obviously thinks he knows everything, I'm just on YouTube to make money and I will never get anywhere. 
Well, you know what I have to say to that? Um, for me not to get anywhere, how in the world did I end up with two, 200 subscribers? I'm sorry, 203 or it might be 202. But I'm just going to say roughly 200 subscribers in two months. How did I end up with that if I'm not getting anywhere? And I'm sorry, supporters, because that's what y'all are. For anybody that subscribes to me, you're supporting me. And I appreciate that because you don't have to do it. You don't have to take the time out of my out of your day to watch my videos. And I appreciate it. And like I said, when I get on my feet, I will show my appreciation by doing some kind of giveaway. So but yeah, like back to what I was saying. So if I'm doing if I'm not amounting to anything, for one, like I said, how did I end up with all these subscribers? I'm sorry, all these supporters in such a little amount of time. I'm going to let y'all sit there and dwell on that because I'm dwelling on it too. It's amazing, right? Also, I'm never going to amount to anything or go anywhere with my YouTube. But you stay in my direct messages though on Instagram. Getting curved, as they say. Maybe that's why I won't amount to anything because I'm not giving you the time of day. Typical. But it's all good though. Because you know what? People like that, I like to prove them wrong. I don't even want to sit there. Because I can say a lot about this person and have him embarrassed for the rest of his life. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not going to do that. People like that, you want to prove wrong. You want to show them that what they're saying would not be spoken into existence. And that their opinion, for real, really doesn't matter. I'm only talking about it because I need something to talk about while I'm doing my makeup. And, um, you know, I ain't going to lie, it was bothering me a little bit. But at the same time, who is this person to me? He's not paying my bills. He's not my boyfriend. He don't take care of my kids. He's not giving me money. So who are you? A nobody. So don't sit up there and talk about me when I'm trying to do something positive with my life. So... It's whatever. I just don't understand. I don't understand people like you just sit around and hate. And then you're going to tell people <laughs> that's going to come back and tell me. Because they, they rock with me like that. And boy, did this person also tell some lies about me that I share. I choose not to discuss on this channel. But I know the truth is. I don't even care the person he told don't believe me. I know the truth is. So it's all good. I'm getting better with my makeup, y'all. I'm not a professional, so... I'm pretty sure something I did wrong, like I always do. I try to do different colors, but it's my, it's my, do my colors. It's my, they all come out the same. Like, I swear, this looked exactly like the makeup I wore yesterday. I did use it from the same palette, but I thought I was using different colors, but I don't know. Like, when you think about it, all these colors are kind of similar. It's like a mostly different kind of purple, so maybe I just did the same thing I did yesterday, but maybe I did like one different color, it didn't make a difference. Who knows? But yeah, so I'm just not going to worry about what nobody got to say because it's okay. He ain't got to subscribe to my channel or support my, um, my, but I always, I don't know why I'm always about to blow this. Like this has my eyeliner on. I don't know why I always do that. But like I said, um, he don't have to subscribe to my channel because guess what? He sure don't miss no view on my IG stories. He make sure he see that. I know what the real issue is, but like I said, I'm not going to discuss it. I'm not even going to discuss it. All I know, all I will say is some men don't like rejection, especially the cocky ones. They're not used to rejection. They feel like every girl supposed to want them. And when somebody finally be like, no, nah, I'm good, their pride hurt. Oh, well, that's part of life. Get over it. Y'all 
y'all hear Rakaia singing? <laughs> My daughter's gonna be a superstar. She can sing though. It just get annoying sometimes. But I love her. All right, y'all. Now we put some mascara on. You know, you know. Should I do that before the eyeliner? I'm gonna do the mascara first. I like to do that, like, I feel like I make the eyelashes stretch out more. But yeah, y'all, I'm going to stop letting this little stuff bother me. And it's crazy. I just spoke on two different situations. One person walking around me not speaking, and then one person... basically saying they're not going to subscribe to my channel because I'm just trying to make money. For one, you should want me to make money. I got kids to feed. You know what I'm saying? And you got he got kids himself, so why would you not want me to make money anyway? That just sounds like somebody that's broke themselves and don't want nobody else to achieve nothing. That's sad. I'm all for supporting people. This world's getting crazy. Like, why would you not want to support somebody that's doing something positive? You know what I'm saying? But anyways, like I was saying, this is crazy how both the dudes that I complained about, they live in the same area. They're, like, they grew up together in the same neighborhood. So I don't even know what to say. I'm just leaving it at that. Oh, my mouth to get me in trouble. Oh, yeah. Eyeliner. Darius! You got a pencil sharpener? He know dang well he got a pencil sharpener. That'll do. It's barely showing up. Like I said, I don't have no sharpener. So that will do. It's my daughter eyeshadow again. She don't mind I'm using it. My sister's the one that would get upset. Petty, I know, right? Well, all right, guys. That's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for listening to me. Because I really needed to vent. Because that was really irritating me like why do people hate so much and then like i said i'd rather i'd rather a woman hate on me than a man i think a man hating on a woman is very shallow it's very shallow like you're supposed to be a man very shallow nobody should be hating on nobody period but for a man to hate on a woman is very shallow anyways on a positive note thank you everybody who has been watching my channel subscribing sharing and commenting. I really appreciate all that. I love when y'all comment. I love the feedback. It lets me know you're watching my videos and that you're into it. Because if you're not into it, why would you comment? I know. So that does bring me a lot of joy. And I am going to bring you all. Well, not bring you all. But I'm going to make a vlog for y'all tomorrow. Tomorrow, my baby boy birthday. I know Rakaia just had her birthday August 7th. My baby boy have his birthday tomorrow. And he's having a birthday party. So I'm going to make sure I do a little vlog for y'all. And I hope y'all enjoy that one as well. I'm not sure when it'll be up. I get, I doubt it'll be up tomorrow, but I'm hoping for Tuesday or Wednesday. So, um, like I said, thank you for all y'all support. Thank you for listening to me vent. Um, I am the type of person that let little stuff bother me. I'm trying to get out of that because at the end of the day, nobody else's opinions matter. So, yeah, I'm going to end the video like that. And like I said, thank you for your support. And if you're watching this video and you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Subscribe. You're going to love my channel, I promise you. And to all my supporters, once again, thank you. And thank you for letting me vent. And thank you for supporting me constantly. Y'all all be blessed. Have a good day.